Well, hello, hello, hello. We are in week eight of our morning meetings with Mrs. Allen. If this is your first time with me, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. We have a lot to talk about. I'm Mrs. Allen and I do these weekly social emotional lessons for students in about grade kindergarten or first to fifth grade. These lessons are on important topics like respect, Friendship, responsibility, and self-control give you tools that you can use the rest of your life because you're going to be dealing with these things the rest of your life. Like this week's lesson on courage over fear. Did you know that humans, you and me, yeah, we're humans, are born with only two fears? We are born with two fears. That's it. That's the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. That's why our bodies jump when we hear a loud noise suddenly or we get a little excited when we're about to fall. Yes, we are born with those two fears, that's it. All the other fears that you have, they're learned. They're learned from your experiences or what you've seen or experienced. Isn't that crazy? We learn to be afraid of things. We all know what fear is, but do we all know what courage is? I guess that's me. that means it's time to select our weekly class connection captain. Our class connection captain is a student leader. If you already know what a Class Connection Captain is, please go ahead and select that courageous student leader for this week as I explain it for our first timers. Teachers, I need you to select a responsible, respectful student who can help lead all of these three lessons this week. They're gonna be calling on other students, they're going to be taking notes if they can, and they'll be the all around leader for these lessons and our conversations this week. Mrs. Allen believes that we are surrounded by awesome student leaders who can be a great example for others. So friends, Class Connection Captains, get ready to start calling on quiet students, quiet respectful students, who are ready to discuss our topic of courage over fear. Our job right now is to define what you all think the definition of courage is. Are you ready to define courage? Pause Mrs. Allen right here while you discuss your answers and we'll be back. Go ahead and pause me. Are you back? Welcome back. I hope you got a chance to pause Mrs. Allen because you really do need to have your definition of courage. If it's my definition, it might not fit yours. I'm wondering if this matches. What did you guys come up with? See if it matches my definition. Courage is being afraid of something and doing it anyway. This can apply to so many different areas of your life from holding a snake to telling the truth or standing up for yourself. Those all take courage. Now what about fear? Is fear bad? No way! Fear's not bad. Fear can help you stay safe. It helps me stay safe. Like when we're afraid to be burned on a candle or a burner on the stove. I don't want to be burned. My fear of being burned keeps me safe. Your fear of being burnt can keep you from doing harmful things. Unfortunately, our fears can keep us from doing amazing things too. What about speaking up for someone that you see being bullied? That takes courage. It's a scary thing to stand up to somebody and say, hey, that's not right. Don't do that. It's scary. Now I'm going to challenge you all. Will you be brave enough right now to name some of the fears that you have at your age? What you might be afraid of at your age might not be what I'm afraid of at my age. We might have different fears. We might have the same fears. Some of those are bad and they're keeping us from amazing things or being amazing. Some of them are keeping us safe. Now, I don't really mean snakes and spiders. You are, your fear of snakes might keep you safe from deadly ones. But I'm talking about how are you brave enough to say what you, are you brave enough right now to say what you truly are afraid of? And like I said, it's not just snakes and spiders. This is things like not having any friends. I know when I was your age, I was afraid to not have any friends. I didn't want to be alone. I was afraid my family wouldn't have enough money to buy food for the month. We were pretty poor. I was also afraid someone in my family might get sick or have to go into the hospital or worse. Now it's your turn. Class Connection Captain, I want you to call on kids who are brave enough right now to share their fears, to be vulnerable. Can you guys say vulnerable? 
Yeah, exactly. Vulnerable means you're opening yourself up to people. It is scary. You need courage and bravery to do it. When you name your fears though, when you say them out loud, you can learn, begin to just start dealing with them and finding courage and bravery to overcome those fears. That's what we're going to do tomorrow, friends. But today, your job right now is to be brave, have courage, and name some of your fears for your classmates and for yourself. Until then, bye for now.